Darren in Wilbraham? Yeah, I think so. Wilbraham, Massachusetts. He writes to me, he says, Paul, I have a question I don't think was ever asked, and if it had, it was never answered. Sorry about that. I love my MagnaPan 20.7s for most music. Currently, I augment the Maggies with a pair of JL Audio F11, well, 113 V2 subs. My question is, since we all understand that MagnaPans lack dynamics, would six subs stacked three per side set up properly replace the dynamics the Maggies lack? I see John Hunter of RHEL has a video on proper setup of such a stack. And indeed he does. And indeed I have heard John's presentation. Oh, yeah, it's been a long day. <laughs> uh, at one CES, John brought me in and just, and I thought, man, this is overkill. And I listened with my jaw dropped. Wow. The stacked subs, like the way John does at RHEL, oh my God, it is it is a wonder to behold. It's amazing. And I think, you know, if you can afford to do that, absolutely you should do that. But is it going to fix the dynamic problem of your Maggie's? No. So Magna planers are big planar, they're ribbons. They're large ribbon speakers. And I would say they are some of my favorite speakers in the whole world. As many of you know, before the IRS 5s came in, I had a complete MagnaPlanar system, timpani 1s, timpani bass panels. I mean, wicked cool. Uh, in the 20s, I think, um, I've owned tons of MagnaPlanars. And they do lack dynamics because a ribbon just can't move that far. And Yes, you would fix the dynamics in the bottom end. Oh my God, yes. You would have dynamics up the wazoo, but in the mid bass, in the areas where the subwoofer doesn't carry, you're just gonna have to suffer with a lack of dynamics. It's one of the reasons why I got rid of the Maggies. As much as I love them, they're priced right, oh, everything. They just don't have dynamics and it's also one of the reasons why PS Audio is now making speakers. I know to most of you this is going to sound like a self-serving pitch. Maybe it is. I don't care. I have always struggled for the last how many decades of telling people what to buy, what I recommend to play with our electronics. People call up and ask me all the time, what speakers do you recommend? I, and I don't care if they have our electronics or not. That's a tough question. And I'll, my first call, MagnaPlaners. And then I have to tell them the caveats. Your wife probably won't like them. <laughs> they look like giant Chinese room dividers. Um, they don't have good dynamic range. But that's about all they don't have. They are affordable. They, uh, and you need the room to set them up because they they're dipoles. They have to be away from the rear wall and you're going to have to do stuff like any dipole. But they're always my go-to speaker. It's hard. I don't have another dynamic speaker like a BMW or a Focal that I'm comfortable recommending to most people. They just don't exist. And it's one of the reasons we built the FR series, the full range series at PS Audio. Again, I know it sounds all self-serving, but that was my original motivation. I wanted to be able to say, buy that, and you will be happy as a clam. It's got dynamics, it's got bass, it's got openness, it's got resolving power, it's got everything you want in a speaker, and as we work our way down, you'll be able to afford it. I honestly just don't know of other speakers to recommend. I know, I know, I, I, and I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> I can hear you saying it right now. And of course, there are plenty. Look at our, you know, we've used Focals. Focals are great speakers. I love Focals. They're just very touchy, very finicky to set up. Uh, and you better get them just right. What you want is a speaker that is forgiving, yet revealing. And that's what you're going to get in the FR series. So, anyway, sorry for the rant. Uh, that's about all I got. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for the question. Talk to you tomorrow.